good, everybody? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, where we got breaking news, all right? The top running back in the MIAC, his freshman year, last year, Sivion Wilkerson for Delaware State, he ended the transfer portal, went to West Virginia, right? Even, even after being pursued by Jackson State, he went to West Virginia. A couple weeks later, maybe even a month or a couple months later, he decides to leave West Virginia and get back in the portal. And now he's decided to come to Jackson State. Now, this is big, right? Because even though I thought we were good at running back, Jackson State was good at running back, a lot of y'all felt like they still needed another one um, for some reason. And I know this will probably make y'all happy. So Sivion Wilkerson, like I said, was the top runner in the MEAC as a freshman. Right at 5'8, 205 pounds, man. The boy is hard to go down. Low center of gravity, very stocky, very strong, still got good speed to get away. Now, his stats last year for Delaware State in 220 attempts, he put up 848 yards, had eight touchdowns, and averaged four yards a carry, which any coach would take four yards a carry. That's not bad at all. But like I said, it's kind of a I don't know why he left. Uh, West Virginia. I don't know what happened there, but you know, you got in the transfer portal and decided to come to Jackson State. Now, I know you guys are happy, right? Because now you have Tyson Alexander, you have Caleb Jolivet, JD Martin, um, and then Sivion uh, enters the race. So I know this is very exciting for you guys. Keep in mind, he is a bell cow, right? He is a bell cow. I know a lot of people are going to compare him to Peyton Pickett. Not at all. They are not the same player at all. Um, I don't know how they're going to be able to use him, right? I think, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to be able to use him. If he can provide some protection as far as blocking in that air raid scheme that Jackson State is running, then I think he'll stay on the field a lot more. Um, but listen, he, all this man does is produce. The work speaks for itself. The MEAC is not an easy conference. So to come in as a freshman, even with the even with the small amount of teams that they have, right? It's not an easy conference. So for him to come in and do what he did as a freshman and be that driving force for his team, it says a lot. It honestly says a lot. And um, I think he helped me. I think he helped Delaware State get to third place um, in the MEAC. They were a couple of games. There was a lot of close games that they had with other MEAC um, opponents to where they could have potentially been in the Celebration Bowl, but it just didn't happen that way. But yeah, man. There y'all go. Jackson State, y'all got another running back. Now, you don't need any more. Please, y'all talking about we don't need no more receivers. Y'all don't need no more running backs. Y'all are good. Y'all are good. But you let me know what you think down below about this honey. All right, but with that being said, man, you're watching the CFL Podcast. I go by the name of Kobe. I'm out.